Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am testing out the Freestyle Libre 2, which is really, really exciting. The Freestyle Libre 2 was just made available in the US this month or in September. So it's really exciting to get a kind of first preview at it and to see how it works. I actually use the Freestyle Libre 14 day system. I've been using it for about a year at this point and I've loved it. I have loved having a CGM, having to not use finger sticks and just kind of like go on about my day and live my life and be able to check on my glucose when I need to. So this little baby is really exciting that it's coming out. You probably are wondering what's the difference? Like how does this Freestyle Libre 2 differ from the Freestyle 14 day system? The biggest difference is that the Freestyle Libre 2 now has optional alarms. So you can set ranges of blood sugars for you to be able to check on with alarm. What's great about it is that your sensor is checking your blood sugar every minute. So you can go on about your day, live your life. It's going to alert you at those high and low thresholds if you want them to. And if you don't want the alarms, you don't have to have them. So if you're in an activity where like the alarms might not be appropriate for you and you want to turn them off, you can do that. So I think that's what makes this little Freestyle Libre 2 really interesting compared to other CGMs is that you actually get the option of like turning the alarms off, which is really helpful in some cases. So I am going to open up these two boxes for you, doing a little unboxing, and um, I'm going to show you what's inside. First, we'll start with the Freestyle Libre 2 reader box. So the reader is how you're going to scan to get your blood glucose. With the 14-day system, there's an app. With the Freestyle Libre 2, an app is coming, but right now you'll need to use your reader to be able to scan for your blood sugars. So in this box, see if I'm like holding this up enough. So we have um, the guides. So this will tell you more information. Um, and it's just like a quick reference to show you what you need to know. I'm just gonna like drop these things over here. Then you have an interactive tutorial card. You actually stick this in the USB part of your laptop or computer, and it will give you an interactive visual about how to use the reader and the sensor together. So that's really neat. Another quick start guide that shows you all the steps and another one in different languages. So that's really nice. So if you are speaking different languages, you do have different options of those manual cards. This is the new Freestyle Libre 2 reader. Um, that's what it looks like, very similar to the form factor of the other one. And actually while I'm holding it, here, I have like tables all around me so I can hold this stuff. So we're gonna take off the little label so that you can see it. So it doesn't look much different than it did before. And I'm gonna click to see if I can turn it on right out of the box, which is great, you can, you can turn it on for setup. So be sure to charge this after you actually set up your first sensor, but it does work right out of the box. So that's really great to know. Okay, then more magical unboxing. So you've probably seen all this stuff if you have another reader. So then we have two full user manuals, I believe one in English, one in Spanish. And then we have a nice yellow on-brand cable and the cable brick so you can charge your reader. That's all for that box. And then what you guys probably want me to get to, which is actually putting on the sensor, but we're also going to go through what's in the actual Freestyle Libre sensor box. If you're familiar with the 14 day system, this box probably looks exactly the same to you. One big noticeable difference for me is this big red now with optional alarms little message so that you know you're getting the brand new Freestyle Libre. So it's pretty much the same, uh, same form factor. It says what's in here is a sensor applicator, the sensor pack, the alcohol wipes, and the product insert. So that's exactly what we're gonna open up to see. We're not gonna get anything different than that. Um, it's still the same, it's a pull tab to open it up to get it open. And then it has exactly everything that it says in here. Um, it has your instructions, which I've done this a million times, so I don't really read the instructions anymore, but you should read the instructions if you have not done this before. Um, then you have the sensor pack, so your sensor is inside of here. You have your applicator, um, so like the little sticky part is inside of there. And then you of course have your wipes to sterilize your arm with. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on, I'm telling you, I've done this a million times. You're gonna watch me flinch, even though it doesn't hurt. Um, but I don't think I've ever showed you guys me putting on my sensor in this way. So I'm actually gonna put it in this arm because I have worn it on the other arm for the last two weeks. So I like to switch things up a little bit. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my arm. I usually only need one wipe for this. So we're just gonna take, we're gonna wipe down the whole back of my arm because I actually never know where this ends up sticking. <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure everywhere is all clean, just in case. And then we're gonna let that dry. It takes just a couple seconds to dry. So while that is drying, I am going to remove the top from the center pack, which is also a very easy feat. Um, and then I'm going to unscrew oops, my applicator, which is also easy. So you just basically twist it off. Then to put it on, well, to get the two pieces together, basically, I'm going to line up this little area here with this area on the sensor pack and then on a hard surface. And I wish that I could show you guys this part, but just imagine my camera's not low enough, but on a hard surface here, I'll do it over here kind of. You push down and you'll hear it. And then the needle is in, or it's actually not, I guess it is a needle, it's a cannula. So the cannula is in. Then I'm just gonna look at it, make sure everything's okay in there. And then I got everything all even because mine actually went down in two clicks. Usually it goes down in one. So I think my surface is a little uneven for that. But everything looks great and looks like it should. So then I'm gonna get my placement. This usually goes on the upper back of your arm. I just put it a little on the outside. And then one, two, three. And then I let it hold for just a second and pull. And there's my leg ray. Super easy, right? So, on the back of my arm there, it didn't hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down and then just make sure that everything is sticking. So I run my hand around the adhesive just to make sure that it's on my skin really well. And that's it. So now I wanna start my sensor. So hopefully you guys can see this. And actually, I'm going to pull my top back down. So I'm gonna turn that on. Um, so you get the little freestyle thing. I'm gonna select English for my language. Just trying to make sure that you guys can see it. I might have to, uh-oh, user error. So English for my language, and then hit okay at the top. The current date is the 17th, yep, Monday, August 17th. So that's correct. The time is not 6.22 a.m., it's 9.23 a.m. As you can see, I'm doing this like straight out of the box, so I don't know what questions it's asking. And then, so it says when you scan your sensor, an arrow will indicate your recent glucose trend. Rising quickly is straight up, rising is diagonally up. Changing slowly is like midway out. Falling is diagonally down and falling quickly is straight down arrow. So how fun and embarrassing that my camera actually died in the middle of doing the settings. So I'm gonna go back to the alarms and show you guys how to set those. So this is new on this device. So you're gonna go into the settings, the little gear icon at the top of your main screen, and then alarms is the first one. So I'm gonna set in my alarms, and right now they have them set for you. So they have them generally set at 70 milligrams per deciliter and 240 milligrams per deciliter. I actually want my high alarm to be a little lower than 240 milligrams per deciliter. Um, 70 is good for me. When I tend to get low, it's usually about that 70 mark. So I feel like at 70, I'm at a good place where I can kind of correct it. 240, I think for me, is kind of an uncomfortable high. I don't want it to get that high before it alerts me. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it down. It looks like it stops down by 10 milligrams per deciliter. So when you set it, it's gonna go down by 10 each time. And I'm gonna set my high glucose alarm to be 200. I think that that is a good place personally for me, but you can set that for yourself as well. And then I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna click okay again. And then I'm gonna go back to the main screen. 
So then I haven't started my sensor yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my new sensor. And to start your sensor, you just scan it. So you take this little device, you get it next to your sensor, and you can scan it. And then it tells you, do not take high doses of vitamin C, more than 500 milligrams per day. This may falsely raise your sensor readings. Supplements like airborne or emergency of high doses of vitamin C, read labeling for all supplements to determine vitamin C content. So important to know. And it tells you once you scan your sensors, that's great. And then new sensor starting up in 60 minutes. So it'll be about 60 minutes before I can use my sensor, but that's why you guys really needed to see. So I will come back and talk about how good the alarms work, um, what it's like to have this device when I am actually used to my cell phone, I carry both, but I'm used to my cell with the 14 days. So it'll be exciting when the app comes out for that. And then I will let you guys know kind of like what the alarms are like, um, what it's like to turn them on and off if you need to, um, really like using the sensor to be able to scan and kind of look at your trends and your information. And then kind of overall what wearing this is like. Like I said, I've worn the 14 day sensor for a year at this point. It doesn't bother me to have the sensor on. It's very slim profile and low profile. I don't even notice it most times. Like it's on my arm, but it's kind of like, you know, once after you put it on, it's just there. Like it's, it's not anything that's like bothersome. So this one is kind of the same form factor, same size, same everything, same application style. So if you're using the 14 day system and you're thinking about moving to the freestyle labor two for the optional alarms, you don't have to worry about a change in what the sensor feels like or looks like because it's literally the same. So I am so glad that I got to talk to you guys about the new sensor. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and let me know so that I can make more videos to talk about using it and talk about wearing it and just to show you guys that this is new tech that has come out and you know hopefully it's something that you can talk with your doctor about and that you can get I used to do six finger sticks a day which was just so uh, I have words for it but they're not nice words but six finger sticks a day was excessive to me and being able to check my blood sugars anytime that I want, being able to kind of like see the trends of where I am without having to pull out a whole kit to get a drop of blood, I think has really just changed my life all in all. So I wanted to thank Abbott for giving me the opportunity to try out the Freestyle Libre 2. It was great to be able to get this in the mail and you know get to try it out for free before I kind of like invest in it. Um, and to tell you guys about it and tell you guys about how it works, what I like and what I don't like about it, and you know, just being able to kind of like get a feel for it. So I have two sensors, I'm gonna try it out for a month, see how it goes, and I will report back to you guys. So thank you for watching, and like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down below. See you later.